but this is the key we have to get our gut microbiome to get used to that get my microbiome used to those salads as opposed to eating cooked food because I feel much better on the raw than on the cook how's that barefooted up on the rocks we are out here in nature in the middle of the forest kind of the city's just right there there's a whole bunch of grapes in my mouth <laughs> what's up my healthy fruit and veggie lovers this is your boy Kuba and I'm here with a short video with an important message something that I consider important and that's because I see a lot of people try to be raw vegan and then fall off and go back to cooked food or struggle to keep it fully raw and keep using cooked food me being a prime example of that but right now I am keeping it let's say 95% raw because you gotta let that 5% for imperfections when you're living in the city and you know you're not on the tropical rainforest and it's this I think a lot of us try to be pure fruitarian fruit based really focus on the fruit which I understand it's amazing because with the fruit we can feel really amazing we can feel really good and like I said if we're not in the tropics or somewhere where there's abundance of high quality fruit it could be tricky to live off just fruit so I've been really using the greens and even the nuts and the seeds by soaking sprouting culturizing them making yogurts dressings milks nut milk seed milks and using lots of greens like a whole load of greens to get my minerals and the nutrition that I might be missing from not having always the highest quality fruit or an abundance of ripe fruit so I have amazing cherimoyas and I sometimes load up on cherimoyas and they're all hard as a rock and I gotta wait a couple days and then they're all ripe at the same time so it's a tricky journey but I understand I would not eat salads many times in my journey because I knew that the next morning I often felt sluggish I felt like it was really hard on the digestion but then so many times I wouldn't eat salads and then I would end up eating cooked food and the cooked food I feel is even harder on the digestion it's even it even takes more strain on the body and sometimes if I keep it like high carb so eating just sweet potatoes or potatoes or quinoa I might be able to feel better in my digestion but the thing is after I eat I always feel like a little more sluggish like I could feel the energy drain I could feel more dehydrated from the cooked food so from the salads yeah I notice okay maybe I'll feel sluggish the next day but that's because my microbiome and my gut is not used to eating those salads with the greens that could be more harder to digest than something like fruit but this is the key we have to get our gut microbiome to get used to that so it's actually better I'm realizing to just go through that even if I feel sluggish the next morning get my microbiome used to those salads as opposed to eating cooked food because I feel much better on the raw than on the cooked and now I feel like I finally am enjoying huge salads and I'm really enjoying the salads and the next day I feel pretty good there's some times that I might feel a little sluggish if I go too hard or I eat too late but I feel much better just eating these salads than eating cooked food so I want to recommend for you to get used to these salads and maybe just start by incorporating more greens like a small salad with lots of tomatoes and cucumbers so it's a little high in fruit and then some greens and building your way up and slowly adding maybe other harder to digest things like maybe some kale or some cabbage or some carrot or beet or some little bit of more uh, tougher greens and a lot of the tender greens and then eventually you can handle more and more and more and maybe start off like low fat dressings zucchini based dressings maybe you can add some nuts and seeds but I'd rather get my gut microbiome used to the living foods than the cooked foods so I think it's a process you can do over time and just slowly introduce more and more to your gut microbiome even like fermented foods like sauerkraut and even things like mushrooms I know a lot of us avoid that because we would just want the fruit but then we so many times end up eating cooked food so what's better 
it depends on your goals, your priorities. But I'd rather keep the living, life force, foods and energy in my gut. But I still eat fruit all day. So I got some grapes and I got some plums, some bananas, got some dates. Gonna enjoy my lunch on the rock. Take off my shirt. I want to be professional for the video and enjoy nature connecting with the elements just getting the sun on my skin the fresh air in my lungs all the little bacteria from the rocks and the dirt and the trees I wish I had a water here I could jump in but I'll go jump in the sea later but there's still moisture in the air too and here's my structured water from the grapes so much love hope this resonates with you peace until the next video if you want to learn about cleansing taking a short cleanse and then rebuilding with the highest quality living foods, check out my cleansing program below in the link. It's an ebook that's free, a three day cleanse. Just subscribe if you want more videos like this and hit the thumbs up so that I know that you like it. And if you have any comments on your experience or on your thoughts on this, send them down below.